In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys a bunch of brand new Blender add-ons that will definitely help you in some way. From modeling, texturing, and product management add-ons, I'm sure you will find something interesting and beneficial in today's video. Before we continue, let me tell you about Wink Fox's new courses. As you may know, it became possible to make paintings and 2D art out of a 3D scene. Since the concept is hard to understand, two courses are available on Wink Fox for that matter. The first and the most recent one for beginners and intermediate users is called Create Painterly Characters and Environments in Blender by the artist Liangzi Megwei, with 22 hours of video content divided across 72 lessons, teaching you from scratch how to create your paintings through different processes like modeling and texturing by following him through multiple projects. The second course is a bit advanced, and it requires a level of understanding in Blender and Photoshop, and brought to you by Colin Cole, a lead background designer who's gonna share his tools, experience, and professional workflow for creating an animated background concept design in the Animation Background Concept Design in Blender course, which contains 40 lessons and it spans 20 hours. The courses can be your keys to transform your 3D concepts into visually appealing 2D art and backgrounds. So take a look at these Wink Fox courses because they are really good, especially knowing that you can benefit from a discount buying both courses. And now back to the video. As a start, we have an add-on called Dirtify 2, which is all about leveling up your materials by enabling you to add all sorts of imperfections to it, which is key for realism. Dirtify, I think, is self-explanatory. It enables you to add imperfections to your models and layer them in interesting ways to get a really convincing final result. These imperfections vary from basic imperfections like dirt, edgeware, and so much more. And all of this is possible using a variety of masks that this add-on comes with, including different textures that can be used as masks like grunges, scratches, stains, and other stuff. And the animal works in a very simple way. All you have to do is drag and drop your desired effect into the shader graph, and now you can freely adjust the various settings and sliders within the add-ons interface, giving you control over basic controls like scale, detail roughness, metalness, bump, but it doesn't end there, since you can drag any type of mask and plug it into the mask input, which you can customize in different parameters to get a desired result. And just like that, you can rinse and repeat and add different layers of detail. Now, after equipping your scenes with all that goodness, you would normally want to render it out. Well, this add-on is gonna help you do so. Easy Stays is an add-on that is all about helping you manage your Blender files, scenes, settings, and even renders. In a nutshell, it allows you to create and manage different scene settings and render them all at once using the Build and Render Manager. This tool enables you to create variation in scene states within the same project, each with unique settings that you can control separately. And it covers everything, like shader nodes and modifiers, and it also supports both single renders and animations making it easy to batch render all your scene states, and you can do that all at once. And these scene states are basically different configurations of your scene, including camera settings, object properties, visibilities, and materials. This means you can create different variations of the same scene without having to set everything up from scratch, which is an insane time saver in my opinion. So, if you need to render multiple cameras, just select the cameras and click a button. If you want to change a specific camera property, add the camera modifier and set its values for each scene state. You should probably get the drill by now, so don't wait any longer and save your sanity by getting this insane add-on at a very affordable price. Now let's move away from project management to actual work when it comes to modeling with this add-on called Cube Blocker that lets you easily add parameter shapes directly inside Blender, offering a more convenient alternative to adding the default shapes. Using Cube Blocker is straightforward, so all you have to do is press Shift plus A, select Cube Blocker, and choose whatever shape you want, like a cube, a plane, sphere, circle, or cylinder. 
And while dragging your mouse, a little gizmo will appear snapping to the surface of another object if available, of course, or to the world grid if not. And you could continue dragging all you want to fill your scene or simply right click to stop the process. This add on allows you to create cubes, cylinder, capsules, and other practical default shapes that you would want to start off modeling with. But what really takes the cake here is that since these objects are parametric, you get the ability to adjust their parameters at any given moment, like adjusting radius, segment count, depth, and so much more. Okay, enough of modeling, because the add-on I'm gonna talk about right now is gonna blow your mind, not your computer, of course. Parallaxit is a powerful Blender add-on that can transform any PBR material into a realistic 3D parallax occlusion mapped material with just one click. And if that sounds complicated to you, well, parallax mapping can basically give off a 3D look to a simple plane, meaning that it can make flat surfaces look like they have depth and complex geometry without adding a single vortex, saving you both performance and render time. And what makes this even better is that it is really simple to use and only requires normal and height or displacement maps, so just select your textures and go for it. But this is not everything. You can easily control and customize the parallax effect by adjusting the adjustable parameters that can be found in the add-ons interface, giving you control over strength, normal strength, UV scale, and so much more. But guess what? Parallaxit is compatible with both render engines, making it a nice tool for adding realistic depth to your materials both in high quality cycles and the more optimized and real-time EV. Alright, let's switch things up by talking about an add-on that is all about managing your animations in a very interesting way, with Storyliner, which is an add-on that brings a non-linear real-time editing workflow right inside Blender allowing you to create all sorts of shots using new and exciting cameras. And you can also define their time ranges and arrange them in any order you like. And since it has a non-linear editing style, you can swap shots, capture the same action from multiple angles, and even create ellipses. All of this can be done intuitively and very simply. And once you're done, turn on edit play mode and watch your edit directly in the 3D viewport. This add-on also packs a whole lot more than that, because you can render images, shots, edits, and sequences independently with EV, Cycle, and even Custom Play Blast, which I'm a big fan of. But it doesn't stop there. This add-on also has some features for storyboarding. For instance, you can create sequence storyboards and sketch with a grease pencil per shot. You can also continuously draw from shot to shot and on the grease pencil objects, in addition to being able to generate a PDF storyboard, which is just fantastic. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about an add-on called Ghost Matter. And this one kind of brings a fresh new workflow when working in the shader editor by bringing a couple of handy features and nodes that you can use in interesting ways. The first thing worth mentioning is that mixing different materials using masks just became a whole lot easier. All you have to do is use a specific node to select an already existing material in your scene. Now, when it comes to mixing the materials, you're gonna need some sort of a mask, right? Well, this add-on also comes with a couple of interesting fully procedural masks like edgeware, dirt, oxidation, and so much more. In addition, you can easily layer these masks or mix them with each other in interesting ways, and you will be able to generate different results. To be honest, there are also many other benefits of using this add-on, like the ability to add decals and stickers using a dedicated node. And you can also bake your PBR materials, which is just amazing. So I highly recommend this one if you want to take a look at it and see what the documentations offer. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.